All right, y'all. We're going to Joe's Retro World. Today, we're going to take a look at hooking up the PlayStation 2 Slim and Fat to our CRT TV. All right, y'all. Let's get into it. Well, first, let's just talk about real quick the different ways you can hook it up, okay? First, and the easiest and the most common is the composite cables right here. These are the factory composite cables that came from, you know, the launch day when you opened the PlayStation 2. Everybody got one of these. This was the most common feed in pretty much every single TV in the world. So, Sony decided to go ahead and give you the old good old composite cable. Now, these composite cables were very convenient. They were upgrade from RF signal, which Sony said, no, nah, we're not going to do that because uh, we're doing 480i and 240p. And we want to go ahead and look the best that we're going to look. So, let's go ahead and start them off with a composite cable which outputs red green blue and black and white colors through a single line which is a lot better than having the audio and left and right combined with it which creates a lot of interference this at least separates it so much better picture but you can still go a little better okay and if you want to upgrade from that then you will find you some s cable videos you can find you some PlayStation 2 official S video cables if your TV has it in the back. Most TV CRT TVs don't have it, but um, some Sony's and upscale ones will have S video. And as you can see, it's a four prong little cable input. And what this does is it separates the black and white and the color from each other. So it sends a way better, clearer picture. And then, of course, the audio left and right are separate. It all it will always have sometimes the, the composite feed also available on the same cables, but uh, not always. Mine does do. <clears throat> yeah, these, these are kind of, these are really cheap. These are like $10 S-Video cables. I suggest you get some better ones if you want S-Video. But if your TV is capable of component, then I suggest you move up to component cables either from the original oem like these are these are playstation 3 component cables i got for 17 dollars a macari app i got these about a year and year and a half ago something like that and these are the best that you can get now you can buy right now hd retrovision component cables for 30 bucks on amazon which i recommend because they're brand new and they're just brand new shoot and they work just as good as these but if you're going to use these, then you have to do an adjustment inside the video settings of your PlayStation 2 because it's set for red, green, green, red, green, blue, and Y, Y, P, B, P, R signal, okay? But you have to choose which one. Sometimes it's set for the other, so you have to go and adjust it because if not, you won't get a picture. Now, if you're doing S-Video or Composite, all you have to do is basically grab your playstation 2 plug up your cable and then plug it up to the compositor s video you know inputs on your crt tv and turn it on and it'll start working but if you were to use the component cables you have to turn your playstation 2 on and if you don't get a good signal and you don't get no picture and it looks all ugly then you have to go do some adjustments. So let me show you what that exactly that is. Because some of y'all have some troubles out there with this. So let me hook up my PlayStation 2 Fat with these component cables. And I will show you what you need to do. I'll be right back. All right. Now with the PlayStation 2, completely no games, no nothing in it. You just turn it on. And you're greeted with this menu. So you go down to system configuration. You go down right here where you push down on your D-pad. You can actually change the ratio, screen size to full 16 by 9. Okay, I always keep it on 4 by 3. Right here you can have your digital out in the back on or off. Now right here where it says component video out this is where you're going to change it you're going to push x once 
and then you're going to change it either to YPBPR or even CBCR, okay? Some countries do a different, okay? But yeah, you can either do that or you can do red, green, blue signal. So when you go to red, green, blue, it does this. So you got to switch it back over, okay? Let's see if I can do it. There it goes. Yeah, so be careful because <laughs> if you do it wrong, you'll be like me, stuck on an ugly screen. Now, there's a specific way to get it back. Something like, I don't know, you hold down the start or something up and it'll reset it back to factory settings and you'll be able to pull it back up if you mess the screen up. But, uh, yeah, no worries. So, yeah, so if you want to go ahead and play your... PlayStation 2 with component cables, then you're going to have to do it like that. Sorry about that. There you go. Try to set that up. I wish y'all could see just how beautiful it looks. You know, it, it, it really is a very sharp, crisp look with uh, component cables, even red, green, blue, but this is component because it's America. So. so, yeah, I hope this helps you out. Just push circle to go back. And then you, know, you can go to your browser, and that's where you go to look at it, see if you got any different stuff on your memory cards. Let me show you mine. Put it on. Open it up, and these are all my saved games right here. Yeah, I got a lot of games on it. <laughs> all right. MC2, Only Mushu. Yeah, I got all kind of games I love to play. Alrighty, y'all. I hope this helps you to go and plug up your PlayStation 2, get the best picture possible. So until next time, peace and much love from Joe's Retro World.